Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian and welcome back to a brand new video on the Source Code channel. This is episode 3 of the JavaScript coding tutorials. In this video we will be going over 4 loops in JavaScript. So let's get right into it. So 4 loops are this thing in JavaScript that can execute code multiple times with a single call. So when we go onto the MDN docs page we can just see what it does and how we can use it. So uh, this is an example of what a for loop does and you can just take a quick look at what it does. So this is the syntax for a for loop. You have the um, initialization, a condition and a final expression and then the statements follows up. So when we go into our program, we can start making for loops. So I will be first making a function called um, loop and it takes nothing in. So when we want to make for loop, we just say for. So then the first expression is a variable declaration. So we are going to say a let i equal zero. And then we follow it up with a semicolon so right now we declare variable i, which is 0. So as long as i is smaller as 100, which is the condition, we want to add 1 to i, which is done by i++. Then we make our statement, which will basically, f um, let's just do console.log i. So if we look at this code, we're going to do a for loop we say let i equal 0 then as long as i is smaller than 100 we add 1 to i and we run this code now at the end we will do that again we're gonna check if i is smaller than 100 we add 1 to i and we run that code so as long as i is smaller than 100 we are gonna execute this code so if we go into our console you will see that nothing will happen yet that's because i didn't actually call the function so if we call the function right now, we will see that it will lock all these numbers. So we start at zero and we go all the way down to 99 since we didn't do is smaller or equal to. So using the for loop, we can execute stuff multiple times. So for instance, if we want to um, create string and we are going to um, uh, make a string let string equals an empty string so if we want to add a character to the string for instance let's just make a string that counts so we're gonna add the first 10 numbers that we can uh, get so we say let i equals 1 since I don't want 0 I just want to do 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we start at 1 then as long as i is smaller than 10 we add 1 to i and we are just gonna say string plus equals which is the same as equals string plus i so you um, basically this syntax just takes um, it's just a way to write it smaller so and then at the end we're gonna log string so when we call the function create string, we will see that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is logged into console. So we call the function. The function creates a variable string, which is an empty string. And for each loop, we add number i to the string. Since we start at one and we end at nine, it's gonna be one, two, three, till nine. So we can also say let's uh, number equals zero we're gonna add i to the number and we're gonna lock the number so now we're gonna loop through um, our for loop again and we're gonna add i to the number so since we have a number it's gonna add one to zero then two to one uh, three to two etc 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 
So if we go into console, we will see 45 since it's keep adding up to the number. Now there's also a different way to write a uh, for loop, which is a for in loop. So if we go to the JavaScript page, we will see a for in statement and we will see that um, for far property one in object one string equals blah 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 so instead of writing out an entire expression for the for loop and what it should do you can loop through something without a set length or that kind of stuff so if we go into our code we can just make a simple array which i will cover in a later video and we're just gonna do one two three like this so for and this statement can take in a constant variable so the for loop where you declare an expression for each three things can only be let or far. You shouldn't use far, just use let. But that is because you want uh, you can't reassign a constant variable which will cause issues with a normal for loop. Now with this for loop you can just say for const um, number in array we're gonna log number. So when we do this, we will see that it will log 0, 1, 2, 3. Now this isn't actually what we have in the array, it's just the index of the array. So if we change this to a different stuff, we will still see 0, 1, 2, 3. Now if we change 4 count number of array, we will actually see that it will output the numbers that we have inside of our array. So this was just a quick video on for loops in JavaScript and how to use them. I will be going into a lot more detail and using them effectively in later videos. But this was just the basics. If you aren't sure on how to use something, just go to the MDN docs, and Google your way around, you will find it. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode.